up with a slow motion crew And we up in our clowlings when people change but not us And we just chillin' kicking it kiss by Hey what's going on everybody this is Masaki uh, And today well, I'm gonna give you some uh, guidance on basically how how to kind of move forward into health 2, health 3, health 4 and the underlining mechanic of allowing you to be there, which is con called combat rating. Um, I think a lot of players probably probably hit a wall around, I think, Paragon 40, 50-ish, where they say, hey, I'm in Hell 1, and I can kill everything in Hell 1 really easily. But if I go to Hell 2, where you know the game kind of recommends you um, to go to Hell 2, they'll say something like, hey, this is where you should be, whatever. But when you go there, you realize, you know what? I actually can't kill anything, and everything is too strong. Um, and then they don't know why that's happening, right? Like they go there, they're pretty much into death and the game has indicated that say something like, hey, um, these these enemies are too strong for you, whatever. Now, I'm my this character, I'm already at Hell 2, so I would just show you, I'll, I'll do basically the entire conversation with Hell 2 to Hell 3 transition, but it's the same thing. Um, and, and that kind of repeats all the way up to, you know, whatever. There's an infinite number, I guess, of Hell that's gonna be uh, problematic here. So let's get started. So why does this happen, right? So the simple answer is this stat called combat rating. So if you go to your uh, attributes here, you are going to hit your little like human, uh, this little icon here, and then you get your attributes and you click more attributes and you see this thing called combat rating, secondary attribute. And if you click on that, it'll give you some idea of what this thing is doing. So every attribute, by the way, explains them. If you just click on it, it'll tell you what it does. But combat rating basically tells you like um, it modifies based uh, based on the enemies you're facing. So as an example, I'm in Hell 2 and uh, Hell 2 has a combat rating requirement. By the way, if you click on the little eye icon next to Hell 2, you'll see this combat rating. It, it says like 12, 20 combat rating recommended. What they really mean are required here. Uh, and the reason for this is because if you look at your combat rating score here, it will tell you that I'm 287 right, which is, you know, uh, minus 287 from 1507 is 1220 um, above the combat rating of this level and difficulty, which this grants me a buff, right? So if I'm higher combat rating than the recommendation of the hell level, I get a buff. But if I, let's say, go to hell three, I am now below this number recommendation because in hell three, the recommendation is 2120 and my combat rating is 1507 which means I'm 613 lower than the combat rating of monsters uh, in this current difficulty. And now here's the problem. All the damage I deal is decreased by 92%. So I'm dealing 8% damage. Um, and all damage to me is increased by 12, uh, sorry, 1,243. So that's like, I'm taking 12x damage, right? Um, so that's why this doesn't work. That's why I like, basically you cannot do hell content if you are below the hell content combat rating in general, right? You get this huge debuff. It doesn't have anything to do with your armor piercing, your strength, no, those stats don't matter as much for this. Um, they obviously contribute to your combat rating, which we'll get into in the next section. But the reason why you can't do the higher level content is simply this, this little stat right here called combat rating, okay? And just remember, if you're under the number for this, for this uh, the hell difficulty, that means you're probably likely gonna have a very terrible time uh, doing that okay so how do i actually get more combat rating okay so let's first understand before i answer that question i think it's first we have to understand what attributes the actual uh the combat rating right cr um there are a couple things basically you're looking at raw stats so whenever you look at an item for example you see the 70 vitality and 67 strength these are raw stats, right? These directly contribute to combat rating one to one, meaning if I increase strength by one, I will increase my combat rating score by one. And these stats are all over your items everywhere. So if you sum up all of these, you'll get a number, right? That's not quite your combat rating though, because there's other things that attribute to it. So another thing that does attribute to it also are gonna be your, um, your gems, right? So if I look at this gem here, this gem gives me 18, combat rating so just directly it's going to give you 18 more combat rating right if you look at different gems they have different combat rating that they will add to your total score 
In addition to that, <clears throat> there's something called resonance. So resonance will also increase your equipment's basic attributes. So resonance is what you get from the gems. So that's the second part of the legendary gems, is the thing, uh, component called resonance. So essentially what this is doing is it's giving you 18% more attributes on top of what you have from all of your equipment pieces. So when you look at your stats here, this, these scores added together, that's where you're getting all this data from that then sums up to your combat rating. Okay. So there's that. Um, another, there are a couple other pieces here, like Heliquary, as an example, also adds combat rating. So these pieces that you get from um, demons, they all directly add to combat rating. So just having them, uh, you're gonna have more combat rating, right? Um, aside from that, upgrading the Heliquary itself. So this Heliquary, as you upgrade, you'll see it's giving you some combat rating. So basically different pieces of the game will give you combat rating. Um, the, the Sanctum, the Ibn Fall Sanctum, you know, Ibn Fahad Sanctum, Thank Sanctum um, this doesn't add to combat rating. So the stats from this uh, buff, as part of the, the, the thing, which I won't really go into, it does not add to your combat rating. So that's just something to think about uh, for this conversation. So in general, um, <clears throat> you're just gonna have to pick up gear items that have better stats uh, and not necessarily the rating of the score of the gear. So what I mean by the rating is you see this uh, component here called score actually maybe this will make more sense if I go ahead and identify this item but there's a uh, there's a score next to your item that isn't your combat rating and just because a score is higher um, it does not necessarily mean that the item will have a higher combat rating now it does usually mean that the item is better because maybe it has better secondary attributes maybe it has better stats or something else there right so as in comparison here, so this is a pretty good example. I just identified this uh, legendary uh, chess piece and you can see the stats are just directly better. So the stats here are going to be two, two and uh, let's see, uh, so like 11 points higher, right? So if I switch this piece of gear in, I'll get 11 more points. You see the score, it doesn't really matter, but I'll show you how this works. So I'm currently at 1507. If I switch on this chest, then right there. I have added 11 more combat ratings, so I'm at 15, 18, right? Just by switching the piece of chest. Um, and that's how basically combat rating works. You get more piece of gear, and that's gonna get you uh, powered up to uh, more combat rating. So what are some ways to um, do this if let's say like I'm in hell two, I can't really do hell three content, so what can I do? First is make sure you farm out your full sets, uh, set items. So like these set gear, make sure you farm out the whole full sets. And then you can kind of look through, as an example, my belt is probably like really low. So this is one of the ones I can kind of work on replacing and get a, you know, like a, a, a better statted belt. So um, as you increase your Paragon level too, by the way, um, that will increase the gear stats on the on the gear themselves. So that's, that's what you want to do. Um, but some other ways you can do it is you can also kind of get carried in the hot next tier of dungeons. So as an example, I can maybe have some of my friends help me with a uh, health three dungeon. And basically I can't really do damage, so I'm just there to uh, grab items and grab loot. So if you have a lot uh, clan mates that are nice to you, you can ask if they can carry you for those dungeons. Um, one of the easiest ways to kind of increase your um, combat rating, I don't have any here, is gonna be three stat items. So most of these items you see here are two stats, but sometimes once in a while uh, you'll get a three stat item, which basically says, hey, I have three of the, you know, whatever, core stats. That's gonna help you boost your uh, combat rating by a lot, usually around like 50 to 100 points easily with just one piece of gear. Um, getting legendary gems and upgrading them. So as you upgrade gems, they will give you higher combat rating. So that does help as well. So that might be another way to do it. Oh, by the way, upgrading normal gems like these doesn't increase combat rating because these are substats you're increasing. So they don't actually do any effect for those. Upgrading your Heliquary uh, general items will also um, upgrade combat rating. What I mean by that is all of your items have a uh, rank here, this number. Uh, and if you go to the Smith and then you hit upgrade, you'll see that as you upgrade, your stats will go up as well. So these stat increases will directly add to your combat rating, but you're only looking at about like four per upgrade. So it's minimal, but it's still present. Um, some other ways you can get like higher level loot is by just doing the events of those higher levels. So as an example, if you see people in world chat say something like, hey, uh, we're doing, you know, like uh, Hydra or Golem or, you know, Rel Ancients, uh, in whatever H3 or Hell 3 difficulty, 
um, you might be able to join for one of these events with lots and lots of players. So usually you're protected and you probably won't die easily. And then that might be a place where you can do that for more um, higher tiered items, basically. Um, one of the events I like the most is the Ancients event. So I will do this. I'll switch over to Hell 2 and I'll show you what this looks like. So inside the Tundra, um, there is an event called the Ancients. Basically, um, within Tundra, as you kill monsters, you're going to farm something called Ancient Essence. And then once that essence hits 100%, that's global, by the way. So everyone's farming this thing. Call of the Ancients. Yeah, this one. So one of the uh, Call of the Ancients events just happened. That's why the, the essence is super low. Um, but basically, once that happens, this event happens, you protect this gigantic Ancients guy. And he'll walk over to basically this area over here. And once he gets over here, then you're able to um, kind of hand him something called Ancient Relics. And he could like remove the curse from them and what that does is it's going to give you items and a lot of times those items can be legendary and so that's uh rather helpful if you're looking to farm um different things yeah um yeah so watch world chat for that data okay um what else can you do another thing you can do is and i do this pretty much i think on a daily basis on this on these characters is um to save up the ex excess gold you have because gold is really not that useful in this game except maybe for upgrading but you don't really need that much and you're always going to have excess but i wouldn't just like ignore gold because gold is actually really nice because you can use it to uh gamble for items so this guy here named yakin you can use uh and buy his items for a certain price right and these are just kind of mysterious items but as you purchase them, you may actually get a legendary like this. So you see, I can I pulled a legendary and it's a direct upgrade to my stats. So this will definitely you know be useful. Um, but you can basically gamble for these items and then uh, have the chance of pulling a legendary. Now, the key here is make sure before you do this that your the items you're buying are of the level um, of your like kind of like um, tier. So as you can see, there's like this little marking next to all the items I'm buying, right? They have a little like, it looks like a skull with two swords. If you look at your Hell 2, that's the same symbol. If you look at the Hell 1, it's like this, and Hell 3, it looks different, right? So just as an example, um, make sure before you buy the items that you have uh, reward drops. So all the rewards, meaning like from quests, from everything, um, are dropping rewards for Hell 2. Okay, so how do you get those reward drops to drop for Hell 2? Um, the easy way to do this is to something called Challenger Rift. So just make sure <clears throat> that um, you, whenever you, let's say, upgrade to the next tier of, um, of Hell level, make sure you're doing your Challenger Rifts and don't just ignore this. So as an example here, once you hit level 20, uh, sorry, it was, maybe it's like a little bit lower uh, here. Yeah, so level 12, you'll see that if you solo finish this Challenger Rift, you're going to get this, right? Reaching Paragon 1, blah, 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 completely this rift. You're going to have uh, basically reward items equivalent to Hell 1, okay? And then if you go to 30, that's the one for Hell 2. And then just basically continue uh, so on and so forth up higher levels where it will be for, you know, your Hell 3 level. So another thing you can do if you're um, good at doing the challenge rifts, you can kind of go slow, is you can get to the level where you unlock the... Um, items for your difficulty and then make sure that's unlocked because then all of the reward items and everything you get will be for that difficulty that that would be very key okay um are there basically is is what i'm telling you that you you can't really do any um hell to until you hit your cr level pretty much that's true yeah so in general like if you're not gonna hit the minimum cr level required for that hell difficulty i wouldn't do that difficulty at all just something to think about. Um, the only th exception I would make to that is if you're, let's say, about like a hundred short of the next difficulty, maybe uh, you can do something and try it. I think that might be fine. But if you're way below, I, I wouldn't do it. It's probably just going to be way too hard. You're going to get one shot by anything. Um, yeah, so there's another thing to note is that the hell 2 difficulty version items are a little bit better than the hell like whatever the tier underneath here's an example right so i know the bow is like you know from a lower paragon level this is when i was 85 and this is from 105 right um i 
basically what you're going to see is that the stats aren't even that different. I know it's a three satter, so it's a little different here, but notice the damage is actually different. So Hell 2 items have a specific damage or life on the gear, and then Hell 3 has a higher version of that. And this this goes on, you know, for uh, basically same thing, right? If you're Hell 1 to Hell 2, same thing. Hell 2 to Hell 3, same thing. Um, so all of the items are better as well. Not just the stats, but the actual base numbers are better. Meaning, let's say you get a uh, item of same Paragon level. Say you have like an 85 up from Hell 3 and 85 from Hell 2. The 85 from Hell 3, ignoring the stats here, the attributes, are still going to have better damage. So it's effectively a better item. Yeah, and that's the truth for the set items as well. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much I want to cover for uh, Hell. I think this should help everybody who's kind of stuck on, let's say, Hell 1 or Hell 2 and don't know how to move on to Hell 3 uh, and higher. Um, basically, watch the combat rating numbers, and this is where it's the key. Just make sure, like, for example, if I want to go to Hell 4, which I cannot do right now, I have to hit a 3250. And on this character, I believe I'm a 2759. So I still have like, you know, about 500 uh, combat rating to go. So it will be some time before I can even attempt things in Hell 4. But that doesn't mean I can't, for example, turn in ancients, uh, ancient relics into Hell 4 and doing other things like that to give me items for uh, higher health difficulty. Cool. Um, this is Masaki. Uh, basically, that's it. All right, you stay classy. Even if I